unmanned seaborne drones change the future of naval warfare. If this new capability is embraced and integrated into offensive naval arsenals, it will be a significant force multiplier in future wars. The transformation of naval warfare by unmanned seaborne drones. Primarily driven by new technology and the advent of artificial intelligence, is a game-changing new facet of naval warfare that has evolved with incredible speed. The proven lethality of these relatively inexpensive unmanned seaborne drones, when in the hands of competent operators, makes this technology such a game-changer for maritime warfare. For traditional navies, if this new capability is ignored from a defensive point of view, it will be a critical vulnerability, but if embraced and integrated into their offensive arsenal, it will be a significant force multiplier in future wars. Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard IRGC Corps Navy played a lead role in further developing asymmetric maritime threats to counter U.S. traditional naval combatants that were on station in the Arabian Gulf. Called by some the Iranian layered threat. This included fast sea skimming anti-ship cruise missiles combined with swarms of crude speedboats armed with machine guns. Rockets and missiles along with mini-subs and small boats that deploy naval mines. The concept was to overwhelm traditional naval ships' defense systems with a barrage of different threats from the air and sea. The concept further evolved with the addition of a prolific cadre of Iranian-developed unmanned aerial drones that were initially used for reconnaissance and ultimately became a new armed component of the Iranian-layered threat. The IRGC then began developing unmanned remote-controlled seaborne drones that would explode on contact. These were called explosive boats by the Western press. And in 2016, Iran began exporting the key components of these unmanned seaborne drones to the Houthis to use in their fight against Saudi Arabia in Yemen. Although in its early stages of development, it sometimes proved lethal. By March of this year, Ukraine had refined drones and tactics enough to damage and ultimately sink the modern and newly commissioned Russian patrol ship Sergei Kotov near the Kerch Strait off Crimea. First, with the right technology, I, and tactics combined with trained operators, seaborne drones can be lethal against naval combatants. Second, this capability comes in at a very low relative cost. In fact, Ukraine's seaborne drones reportedly cost a fraction of the price of a typical air-to-air -air missile. Each Magura, for example, reportedly cost only about $250,000 a small sum when compared to damaging or sinking a warship worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The success of unmanned drones in the maritime industry has attracted the attention of U.S. Navy planners in the Pentagon. They are incorporating lessons from Ukraine and the Red Sea into plans to counter China's rising naval power. As evidenced by Deputy Secretary of Defense Kathleen Hicks' announcement of an initiative in August named Replicator. To deploy hundreds of small, relatively cheap air and sea drones within the next 18 to 24 months to counter China's rapidly growing air and naval power. The U.S. Navy is fast acquiring a new, highly advanced fleet of small, medium and large unmanned surface vessels to operate in close coordination with one another. Each of these platforms are intended to operate smaller drones, autonomously hunt mines and submarines, organize and share information across the fleet in real time through AI-empowered data processing technology and perform integrated, collaborative missions with small groups of drone boats. U.S. Navy USVs are increasingly able to coordinate autonomous activities and share information in relation with one another as part of an integrated mission to assess an enemy perimeter. Identify and pass along targeting information or engage in highly networked mine and submarine hunting. Given the scope of U.S. Navy progress in the area of autonomous surface warfare and fast-expanding fleet of drone warships, it comes as no surprise to learn that the large and closely followed Chinese Navy is reporting success with the same thing. As far back as several years ago, the Global Times newspaper says a new Chinese unmanned high-speed vessel demonstrated breakthrough levels of dynamic cooperative confrontation technology. Suggests that the Chinese USVs can quickly intercept, besiege and expel invasive targets. The PLA Navy's well-armed unmanned surface vessel has conducted its first sea trials, according to Chinese trade outlet Ordnance Industry Science Technology. The 50-foot-long vessel, dubbed JARI, is designed for remote control or autonomous operation, 
like many projects developed by Western navies and defense contractors. However, it may be unique in possessing all of the core capabilities of a surface combatant at a small scale. Its developers say that JARI has a phased array radar, a sonar suite, a deck gun, two close-range air defense missiles, two vertical launch silos for small anti-air anti-ship missiles and two torpedo launch tubes. Given its equipment, Chinese state outlet Global Times has described it in ambitious terms as a combat-ready mini Aegis-class destroyer. JARI's small size and 500-mile range would be a limitation for solo ocean-going service, but it is intended for use as a daughter craft with conventional manned vessels. The JARI USV can be loaded onto an aircraft carrier or amphibious assault ship. To provide their strike groups with extra reconnaissance and attack platforms, Ordnance Industry Science Technology wrote. Its developers envisioned that when fully matured as an autonomous platform, it could also be deployed for swarm attacks on enemy surface combatants. It is not a secret program, it has been openly advertised at naval trade shows since at least late 2018, though it has only gained media prominence in recent months. JARI was developed by state-owned China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation, which has since merged into China State Shipbuilding Corporation CSSC. The group is the world's largest shipbuilding conglomerate by backlog. This fast-progressing technological configuration involves a number of unmanned assets operating autonomously in coordination with one another to respond to fast-emerging new intelligence information. Adjust mission scope or function quickly as needed, make critical, non-lethal decisions autonomously and optimize mission effectiveness. This technology is brought to fruition through advanced levels of collaborative autonomy wherein advanced algorithms are able to process incoming data. Bounce it off a vast database to perform analyses and optimize a course of action. The Chinese paper describes it as collaborative perception, high-speed tracking, evidence collection, interception and guarding Chinese sea territory.